this Senator Wyden? It is. It was um, water torture getting in, but I have arrived. <laughs> well, I know you're very busy. Thank you so much for joining us. I understand you're actually in Congress right at this very moment for the vote on the National Defense Authorization Act. I know yeah. that's important. I yep. know your vote is important. Thank you for taking time to be with us. I'm happy to do so. Let me just check and see where we are on the time. Yeah, we're fine. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Uh, run whenever you have to. Uh, I just wanted to chat with you. We uh, at Fight for the Future have created an online uh, petition, an open letter, if you will. We've had almost 600,000 people who sign it. These people are opposed to the Earn It Act uh, that your colleagues, Senators Lindsey Graham and Richard Blumenthal wrote, uh, attempts to prevent child exploitation online. But there are many of us out here who think that this bill threatens our free speech. It threatens our privacy. It's going to threaten end and encryption. It's, uh, it's going to hurt marginalized people and minorities. So we're very concerned about this. We're concerned about child exploitation as well, but we think this bill uh, addresses it in the wrong way. I know you have a, a different piece of legislation called the Invest in Child Safety Act that you believe will help uh, reduce child exploitation online in a safer way and a more effective way. Can you please tell me about the Earn Act? Are you aware of it? Are you opposed to uh, it? Um, how do you think the Earn Act is going to affect those of us online? Well, for, first of all, I want to give a big thanks to Fight for the Future and to have 600,000 people uh, in effect uh, uh, make their digital voices unknown, saying no to a horrendous effort that would roll back free speech and, and privacy online is hugely important. So big thanks to Fight for the Future. Thank I want to start this just by, I just want to start this by mentioning SESTA FOSTA, which was our last experience, some um, kind of proposed solution to sex trafficking has ended up doing nothing to protect victims or bring sex traffickers to justice. What SESTA FOSTA has done is produce a real policy flop driven sex, um, uh, sex, sex work to the uh, dark web and dark alleys. And statistics show that violence against sex workers has skyrocketed. I should have like five minutes. Can you take a look? Yeah. Take, I've got them all right. Um, the most vulnerable members of society are the ones who paid the price while members of Congress declare victory. And Earn It takes a similar approach to this flawed SESTA-FOSTA approach. Um, with respect um, to the issue of child sexual abuse materials. I think it will lead to a similar kind of result. And the horrendous idea of letting states regulate the Internet, which is a very key part of Earn It Now, is going to create a tidal wave of uncertainty. It's going to produce years of lawsuits. And in my view, it's going to make it even harder to catch the monsters who create and spread Bio material online. The original bill was quite um, different. It was centered around the idea of federal speech police led by Bill Barr. And then Senators Graham and Blumenthal had to rewrite the bill the night before the um, committee vote. And uh, now a broad coalition of civil society opposes the bill. They've asked for additional time to review the text, work with the committee but the committee just bulldozed ahead and approved it. And now what we've got to do is get the word out that this new bill will do even less than the previous version to stop the spread of child sexual abuse material, target the monsters, and um, make sure that people understand that the amended Earn It Act magnifies the failures of SESTA, of FOSTA. And experts believe that SESTA FOSTA hasn't done anything to help victims or stop sex trafficking. In effect, drove this activity to uh, the dark web, created collateral damage for marginalized communities and the speech of all Americans. And there's already a lawsuit challenging the constitutionality of SESTA FOSTA on First Amendment uh, grounds. And uh, obviously, there's great concern in the Congress on the negative impacts this bill has had on marginalized um, groups. So you would think that authors of legislation after um, this, this bill would uh, learn from it and decide to take a different route. 
Instead, the authors of this bill doubled down, said, let's use the SESTA FOSTA approach and expand it to state civil and criminal laws. And by allowing any individual state to set laws for internet content, the bill creates enormous uncertainty, both for strong encryption and free speech online. And what's worse is the flood of state laws could potentially arise under the Earnest uh, Act and raise strong Fourth Amendment concerns, meaning that any um, evidence collected could be rendered admissible, inadmissible in court and accused uh, offenders could get off scot-free. That seems to me to be pretty bizarre, even by Washington, D.C. standards. So I introduced a bill that actually addresses the horrors of what is being done online in terms of abusing children. My bill, the Invest in Child Safety Act, drastically increases the number of prosecutors and agents who hunt down these vile child predators. It requires that a single person be personally responsible for the efforts and directs more than $5 billion in mandatory funding to the people who could actually make a difference in rooting out uh, this um, scourge. And by the way, Earn It Act uh, doesn't include a single dollar, not a dollar, for funding the important kind of efforts that I think are necessary, evidence-based programs that keep kids safe and are in desperate need of funding to do good uh, work. Basically, um, Earn It uh, pitches you know, to the galleries like SESTA FOSTA did and doesn't include a single dollar of funding for the real work that needs to be done. I'm going to have to run and vote, but I want to close by saying, once again, big thanks to Fight for the Future. You consistently are out there standing up against bad tech policy. And I think we all learned during the Pippa Sopa fight um, that uh, here in D.C., political change doesn't start in Washington and trickle down. It's just the opposite. It's um, grassroots up, and I just hope everybody will keep making their voice heard and for all of us who care about free speech and privacy online, we need your help to keep a free and open Internet going um, forward. We've won before. I just mentioned Pippa Sopa when everybody thought those uh, odds were insurmountable. And the uh, fight for the future has uh, always been out there in the cause of a free and open Internet. And I just look forward to working with all of you. And I'm going to run and vote. But um, we'll catch up and continue this soon, okay? Thank you, Senator Wyden. Keep fighting for our rights uh, out there uh, on the floor in the Senate. Thank you very much for uh, being with Thanks us. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.